Hello again, and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. It's been a long time since the last one. This video is about biomes, and also how I use biomes in Minecraft. So by now you should know what biomes are, but they are regions or zones where the temperature is different than the other, so flora and fauna would also be different. Minecraft used to have very divided biomes, it's gotten better by the updates, but I still think they should do something about biomes, which I will show you how I do it. When you start out a world painter map, the default biome should be plains. You can see uh, uh, below down here, when you hover over your mouse, you can see plains. Water. Small bodies of water will automatically be rivers, so you don't need to change that biome if you don't want to have a specific thing like swarm. This is a small custom map I just made. As you can see here, there are some mountains, they are like 100 blocks high. Same over here, not really much taller, 123. This green here are oak forest, dark green, spruce trees, and this is birch. So, if we are following Minecraft standard biome, rules or division or whatever setup they have made, then this all should be extreme hills, this should be taiga, oak forest and birch forest. And if that sounds okay by me, and we could do that, I can show you, just, just let's just make this then the biomes they should be. So, we choose biomes on the left side, biomes, let's see. Plains, no, forest, yes, I don't need swamp, I need birch forest, and let's choose birch, I'm gonna go for, not for hills and tall, just regular hills, and intensity shall be max, shall dehook this, and i just use a custom brush, you can just use one of these, which are the, uh, the ones that follow wall painter, it's the standard ones, and let's do birch, like so, Oh, it is. Now, birch forest most most likely be a lot taller, and you see these spots to our birds, but I'm not going to use biomes on these yet. So that's birch. Let's do forest, not hills, not flowers, just forest, like so, like so. Then some tiger forest for this. Tiger, the standard tiger. A little tiger here. And here. And then the last one should be mountains. Just the extreme hills, like so. Now uh, this should look pretty okay to me. Okay? Now let's have a look in game. Okay, we're in game. Let's see. Should just be plains biomes, yes, and here should be then. Let's see, birch forest. So, this is birch forest. You can see the birch trees over here. The grass foliage is all about the resource pack. You could also make the leaves a lot different if you use a different resource pack. But this is this is fine. You have some variation. You have a yellow tree, the grass transition has were pretty nice. Then you get the planes over here. So over here the tiger should then be just the same. You see the grass is getting different colors on the edges here. And we get into a tiger biome. Which is uh, it's also pretty nice. But it could be better. A lot better. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. We're back to our painter. The map looked good. I like the biomes, you could just use the biomes as they are, like so. But you see these patches here? I told you this should be birch forest. Now ah, birch, let's do this to birch. And I'll overwrite these patches with birch. Just these patches, nothing else. And then, as you can see over here, there are some grass here and uh, this river looks a little bit more lumpy. And this region, I'm gonna do a swamp. So 
about another was four. Let's over here. It's four. And I use this was four. Only this patch, nothing else. Now this will be swampy. And there will be forest. And also when it comes to the extreme health and uh, tiger, I'm gonna do some different changes there too. I'm gonna do dark forest as well. In the middle of the forest somewhere here, you have a little patch of dark forest. This will change a lot of the foliage and the grass. Do some random here, some random in here. Also a little bit to a tiger. Then I'm gonna go for the mountains again. We could do mountains can go over all the way over here. A little bit in here. Also on these tops here and this top. Same as over here. And have the mountains go a little bit in here. Now with extreme hills. And then back to Taiga again. Where's Taiga here? Go a little bit out, a little bit mixed in. Mixed in like so. Also Taiga a little bit mixed in here. So why am I doing this? I'm gonna have some forest or birch. I'm gonna do some birch again and then just on land. On land. So a little bit patches of some kind of birch over here. Just here. A bit better water edge perhaps. Like so For force, we'll do a little bit of the same. A little bit of force patches, not much, but intensity is set to high. So you will, you will see the patches eventually. Uh, forest. Should be forest, come on. If you ever walked outside alongside a path of grass, or you've been in a park, or in a forest, or on a football field, you'll see some patches of different kind of colors in the grass, yet it's still the same grass. And this is what I'm trying to achieve over here. And as you can see, this is a nice transition. Brownish, light green, dark green. And the nature is, it is like this. It's not like a defined line where this grass stops and then the other color takes over the other, or the other biome takes over. They blend they blend in. And by blending in you get really nice results and it looks a lot more realistic. Remember the swamp area? You can see the dark grass already over here. And yes, good swampy area here. Of course there's been some mud coming over from the river and this is what I would call a bit of swampy area. It's not like a swamp but it's just a place on the map where you have swampy conditions. And that's what I'm trying to achieve as well by, by using the biomes just to, to to show or outline that this is a biome area. And if I then push my map, <coughs> you can see here, this is a nice biome patch. And you can see the other patches I've done, with the grass there. And of course where the forest is, remember? The dark forest here, you see now, zoom out, you can see there's some patches here and different patches here. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Let's have a little travel to um, the dark patches of the forest. And this is the dark forest, darker grass, darker foliage. It all depends on the resource pack you are applying. So by achieving different patches of biomes, you get a lot more diversity. And it naturally just looks a lot better. And you get these cool little places like like this. Which is, this should be a birch biome. No, it's a tiger biome. And this is the forest. In Minecraft, this would just all be forest biome. 
But when you fix your biomes for yourself, and then, then you can choose whatever you like. Uh, you'll have bushes that are like greener or darker. And, uh, and uh, it gives a lot more depth to, to, your, to your map. Back to World Painter. The biomes are here, as I told you earlier. And all biomes have a different ID. You can look up on the internet, you can get probably a lot more biomes than this. And I have a mod that has custom biomes. If I want custom biomes, I choose to add my custom biome. I look up my ID, write the name and the color I would like, and then you can actually have custom biomes for, for a mod that you are running. It's not that difficult. You can go into the Minecraft wiki and you can find everything you would like to know about biomes. Temperature, sky and fog generation, biome types. Go look at the biome types, you can see the seven temperature classes and the IDs over here. And of course, if you are running a mod that has custom biomes, you would really like to look into this and see what the difference are and uh, biomes you could make. So that's it for this uh, short tutorial. This is how I do my biomes. As you can see, I make a mix of biomes and nature is a mix. Nature is chaos, nature is diversity, variation, and nothing in nature is perfectly balanced. For my method, this works for me. If you have different methods, you can use your own methods, of course. Uh, but uh, this is what I prefer myself. And I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you in another video.